This is the networking video part one, setup and preparation. There are two main scenarios we're gonna cover, work groups with a router and work groups without a router. There are just a few main differences between them, so when we come upon one of those differences, we'll highlight it with an asterisk. This video is not gonna cover domain networking. How do you know if you're on a domain? On your PC, go down to start, go to my computer and right click it, and click properties. Click the computer name tab at the top here. And right here where you can see it says work group here, uh, if you're on a domain, that will say domain. Domains are a bit more complicated. So if you are on a domain, we recommend that either you or even your IT person give us a call. So assuming you are on a work group, the first thing you'll need is a Cat5 standard ethernet cable. Now this is one of those differences between a router and no router. You'll need a straight through cable for a router and a crossover cable for not a router. Now crossover cables are only used to connect a computer directly to another computer. So if you've never done that before and that's what you're planning on doing, you'll probably have to purchase one. But if you've been using a router and you're planning on sticking with it, then you probably have straight through cables so you should be all set there. The next thing you'll need is a mouse and a keyboard both plugged into the SX control. The only thing you'll have to consider here is the SX only has one PS2 port. So if you're planning on using a PS2 device, the other device has to be USB. Or you can use two USB devices. That will be OK as well. And one last thing, if your mouse or your keyboard is PS2, you'll have to restart your SX control after plugging it in. The next thing on our list that you're going to need is admin rights to your PC. Uh, if you're unsure of whether or not you have admin rights, ask your IT person. If you don't have an IT person, you probably have admin rights. Next is a router. Now you can actually do this without a router, but if you are going to use a router, well, you're going to need one. Now we're going to hook up all of our individual components. So as we can see here, this is the router option. You have your PC connecting into your router, connecting to the SX, all using straight through Cat5 cables. And here is the no router option, and the PC is connected directly to the SX using a crossover Cat5 cable. Well, that's it for the setup and preparation portion. In our next video, we'll pick up right where we left off and actually configure our PC. But if you have any questions, please call our service department at 1-800-367-3165.